In this video, I will describe the most common types of variables. Identifying types of variables is important because different statistics apply to different types of variables. This chart summarizes the different types of variables. The two main types are continuous and categorical. A variable is continuous if a one unit increase in the variable means the same thing across values of the variable. Common examples of continuous variables include length, temperature, and age. For example, an increase of 1 to 2 inches is the same amount as an increase of 3 to 4 inches. The time that passes between the ages of 45 and 46 years old is the same as the amount of time that passes between the age of 1 and 2 years old. There are two types of continuous variables, interval and ratio. Interval variables do not have a meaningful zero. Ratio variables do. For example, temperature in degrees Celsius is an interval variable. A temperature of zero degrees Celsius does not mean there is no temperature. Temperature in degrees Kelvin is a ratio variable because the value zero means there is no temperature. Other examples of ratio variables include age and height. The reason this distinction is important is that it changes how we can interpret variables. For example, if we have a person that is two feet tall and a person that is four feet tall, we can say the four foot tall person is twice as tall as the two foot tall person. This means height is a ratio variable. With ratio variables, relative differences like the one shown here are meaningful. In other words, we can use division and multiplication to compare values for ratio variables. We can also use subtraction and addition to examine absolute differences. But if we're measuring temperature in degrees Celsius, we cannot say that 40 degrees is twice as hot as 20 degrees because there's no meaningful zero. This means temperature in degrees Celsius is an interval variable. With interval variables, only absolute differences and not relative differences are meaningful. In other words, addition and subtraction apply to interval variables but not multiplication or division. A count variable is a special type of ratio variable. As the name implies, it is a count of something, such as cigarettes or alcoholic beverages a person has had in a given day, number of children in a family, or number of siblings. In all of these cases, a count of zero means there are zero of whatever it is that we're counting and this is why it's a ratio variable. A person who has four siblings has twice as many siblings as someone who has two siblings. We use categorical variables when we want to classify our sample or population into groups. There are two types of categorical variables, nominal and ordinal. Variables are nominal when there is no inherent order to the groups. Examples include gender and race or ethnicity. Variables are ordinal when there is an order to the groups. Education level can be an ordinal variable. We may group people based on how much school they have completed. People who have completed more school have more formal education than people who have completed less school. A dichotomous variable or a binary variable is a special type of nominal variable when there are only two categories. For example, when we group people based on whether or not they have a disease, yes versus no, this would be a dichotomous variable. Once again, continuous variables are either ratio or interval, and categorical variables are either nominal or ordinal and the type of variable is going to influence what types of statistics we can use to analyze that variable. 